Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me for my uh, wax meltdown video. I was going to call this like monthly wax meltdown, but because I haven't been melting as frequently um, as I used to, <clears throat> I may not have enough every month. I thought I wasn't going to have enough this month, but turns out I did have quite a few things and I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So I'm just going to start with my scent shots, um, this first one here is from Lasting Scent Candles. It's in Cozy Winter Nights. This was a, a nice size scent shot. I just melted it all at once. Um, and this was a really nice scent. I know there's like peppermint on here. I didn't smell a lot of peppermint in this scent. It was truly just like a, <coughs> excuse me, hot cocoa scent. Um... Definitely hot cocoa versus chocolate. Um, it wasn't super like strong on a chocolate note or anything. It was truly like a true, like that powdery hot chocolate scent. Um, I didn't love it. It's probably not one I would pick up again, but the throw was pretty good on it and it was a nice scent. Like if you like that hot chocolate scent. Next up is one from my haul I did not too long ago. This was from Sugar and Spice Gourmet Candles. This was the Orange Blossom Strawberry Raspberry Guava and I think like Marshmallow Cream or something like that. Um, <clears throat> these were my, this was from one of the blends that I made myself. That whole haul was blends that I customized myself and I didn't like this very well. Um, it wasn't a bad scent. I won't say it like that. It's not that it was bad, it's just that it wasn't a good blend. Um, it still kind of has like a, to me it's like a candy scent with laundry. And I don't, really don't know where the laundry's coming from, except maybe the orange blossom, the flowers that are, that's in the orange blossom scent maybe have some type of laundry note to them, but... Um, I wouldn't make this blend again. It was a nice scent, and I still have, like, four of them to go through. Four or five, but, um, it was okay. Next up is another one from that same, uh, order. This was the Blue Hawaii Coconut and Bodacious Blackberry. This one, surprised to me, I actually ended up liking pretty well. The Blue Hawaii was still really strong on this when I melted it. But it kind of gave off like a like a warm note, like at the beach, like a warm kind of, I don't know, it was just a really warm scent. And I actually liked it. I melted it in my bedroom. And initially the throw on this was so strong. And I actually liked it a little bit better after, because um, I think I let it melt for like, I feel like two or three days. Not constantly. I turn my warmers off. But um, usually the one in my room I do let um, go all night long. And I feel like either the second or third day I really started to love this scent. Because it wasn't as strong and in your face. But it still had that warmth and that nice like coconut scent. This was a good one. I actually really did like this one. I think if I had to do this one again though I'd probably add... Some type of creamy note to this. I don't know what. Focus. But like, I don't know, like ice cream or marshmallow cream or something. I think I just, I think it would be perfect if it had a creamy note to it. Alright, now I'm going to get into clamshells. And I have a couple of one-off ones. And I will do those first. And then the rest are Sensationals and Better Homes and Garden. So I'll start with this. These I got from my sister. They're by the brand Fuss Ass McGee. They have a um, a website. And my sister did not like this brand. She thought it wasn't strong enough. But unlike me, she likes a very in-your-face kind of throw. And I don't. So um, this one was in the scent Fairy Godmother. And I don't know what was in this but this was definitely a lavender scent and I actually really enjoyed this I mixed this with pink sugarberry from Better Homes and Garden which I will get into in a little bit but I actually really liked this scent 
it wasn't too strong and it was a nice sweet lavender um i i don't love lavender but the lavenders that i do like tend to be sweeter and not as herbal these um this claim show at least did get skunky i smell that every time i sniff it but um again it's called fairy godmother a nice lavender scent i can't really tell Maybe there's something sweet in here, like pink sugar or something. But for me, when I melted it, it was just a really nice lavender scent. So I did enjoy that. Next up, also from the same brand, she gave me this one as well, is Bazooka Joe. And this was a bubblegum scent, and I loved this. <laughs> Let me get it open. This was, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Like, this was just a true bazooka joe scent like if you've had bazooka joe bubblegum that is exactly what this smells like it's not like any other bubblegum scent it is truly bazooka joe and this was amazing i loved it it gave a really good throw for me like i said i don't like super headache inducing like lingering everywhere type of throws i like a nice consistently like good throw and this one was it. It smelled so good. This one was amazing. I really liked that one. Next up is one clam shell I melted from the bathing garden. I really like the bathing garden. And um, this one was in the sweetest thing. I've had this for quite a little while. And this is one that um, I don't remember what the notes are in it. But this smells just like Sultana soap from Lush. To me that is what this smells like. Some people might think I'm crazy, but every time I smell this, that is exactly what I get. I used to buy that soap all the time, and this smells exactly like it. Um, I bought quite a bit of this when this scent came out, and I think now I'm just kind of burnt out on it. I do still really like it, but um, and it did give a really good throw. Bathing Garden, for me, does a whole heck of a lot better when you let it cure for a good amount of time. So I probably have had this clamshell for... Pfft, probably over three months and so it was nice and cured um but this one does smell really really good to me but I think I just got burnt out on it so after a while I got sick of it and um I did melt through the whole clamshell of course but and it does still smell really good but it was really strong and um I would repurchase it I, w I just need a little break from it first so that is that one. And then, let's see. I have one Sensational, so I'll go ahead and get through that one first. This one is in, I feel like I hauled this not too long ago. This was in Molten Orange, and it's like a blood orange scent. And I really liked this one. This is just a nice, true, citrusy orange scent. Like, true, legit, um orange i actually blended this with pink sugar berry as well and um it smelled really good i added this to like some pineapple scents and it made stuff really tropical it just gives that nice bright fresh um citrus scent um i mean this it maybe has just a touch leans a little touch cleaner like cleaner lemon orange scent but for me, it smelled really good. I like this one a lot. I don't know if I'll get it again just because, I mean, I don't love citrus scents. And it, I mean, I do like them, but it, I don't feel like it's something that I just need to have on hand. There's certain things that, like, I have to have it on hand. And one of them I'm going to get to because it's a new one. But um, this isn't one that I feel like, oh, my gosh, I have to have this on hand for blending just because I don't go to orange that much but this I feel like is a nice one for blending like I probably would never melt this by itself but this is a really good one if you like just a good citrus scent you should definitely pick that one up next up is this one from Better Homes and Gardens this was in Wild Honeysuckle Pear and it's funny when I smelled this in the store I really liked it and I think I still have a whole nother clam of this but now that I've melted it, I don't I don't love this scent. Um 
it is very floral. I mean, you still get the pear. It's actually really well blended because you do get the pear, but it is extremely floral. And although I like floral, this one was like just a little bit too much. So I will probably continue to melt this in like my bathroom or something just to use it up. But I probably won't repurchase this one again. It just wasn't a favorite. Um, although the throat is really strong. So if you like a really like florally pear, you'd probably enjoy this one. So you should check it out. Next up is this one. This is in rainy spring day. And this one I really liked. Um, it does smell really like, it almost has, to me it has a touch of like a perfumey, maybe cologne versus perfume type of scent. But it's not super strong because I hate cologne type scents. And it does smell very fresh. Like there's a fresh note, but it's not like laundry. It's a very like green fresh rain note. But this one smelled really good. Um... It rained quite a bit the week that I was um, melting this, and it was just perfect. It created just the perfect ambiance and scent throughout my house um, during that week, and it smelled really good. This is one I would definitely repurchase. Next up, another good one, Hawaiian Pineapple Cilantro. I love this. I can't say enough about it. It is a nice, to me, juicy pineapple it's like weird because you smell it and it's super sweet but then right on the end you get that just touch of tartness that you would get from pineapple the cilantro is there just adding that extra like I don't know like extra green note to this but this was amazing and the throw on this was so great I melted this well I melted it by itself down in my basement and my basement is pretty big and it filled up the whole basement and was even coming upstairs. So it was amazing. Then for part of it, I actually mixed this with some stuff. I'm pretty sure I mixed it with like a coconut. I mixed it with a vanilla. I think that's all I mixed it with. Oh, actually I mixed it with another one of these that I'm going to show next. And this came through no matter what I mixed it with. Um, but it wasn't overpowering. So if I mixed it with something, I was still able to smell the other scents. So it wasn't overpowering, but this held its own with everything I mixed it with. And if you like pineapple, this one is a good one. I don't know if I'm going to get any more. I don't know. I might just to have them for next summer because... I, I'm pretty sure I've said in my other videos that I don't like to hoard a lot of wax. So I like to burn through what I have. And I do still have um, quite a bit of like spring summer scents to get through. So I don't really want to add to it. But I don't know. This might be going on my list of things that I just like to have on hand at all times. So like when summer comes, I want to know that this is in my stockpile. So um, this may be one that I'd buy two or three clams of and just hang on to till next summer but this is amazing if you like pineapple please go smell it I I mean some people might not like this scent it is very unique but it is a really good scent and I like that one a lot it's one of my favorites next up is this one here also from Better Homes and Gardens and this is the one that I also mixed that pineapple scent with this was by the pool and it was the dual um dual side of of uh, wax in here and one was coconut one was called splash and this one was so good it still smells so good it's weird it has again like that kind of warm reminds you of being on the beach on a hot day it has that like warmth to it and the the coconut is so good with this because the splash is pretty um, it's pretty intense. It's a nice fresh scent, but it's pretty strong. And the coconut just really helped to, to smooth this out and make it a little bit more creamy. And then when I added the pineapple with this, it, I mean, it smelled so good. So this is a good one. This combo together is like heaven. And I really like these together. So I may pick up another one or two of these as well. Next up, Vanilla Cookie Crunch. Obviously, this is a staple for everyone. I had a little six-pack of it that I worked through. I still 
have a big value pack that I'm working through, but I'm probably going to pick up another one. This one is just, it's just great for blending. I mean, you can blend it with literally anything and it smells so good on its own. It smells good. Blend it with anything. It's just a fabulous, fabulous um, scent. I can't say enough about it. It's just, I mean, it's just that buttery sugar cookie. It truly is what it says. It's not too strong. It doesn't smell artificial. Um, it just smells like fresh out the oven vanilla cookies. Great stuff there. I hope they never get rid of that. And then last but not least, probably my favorite of the whole month is this pink sugar berry. This has just been rocking my world all month long. I love the scent. I can't say enough good things about it. It's another one that I just... I blended with everything. I blended it with a pineapple. Blending it with this, oh my gosh, this was heaven, guys. Like, this scent combination was pure heaven. I absolutely loved it. This on its own is great, but this is one that I have to have stockpiled. I love this scent so much. It's very pink sugar, of course, but... You definitely get the berry note, and it just adds a little extra something that the pink sugar doesn't have. Like a little more depth, or, or I don't know, interest or something. There's just something that that berry note adds to make this a more like, um, a more like, I don't know, intense scent. But this one, please, if you... Um, if you like pink sugar and you like sweet scents, please get this. And when you get it, please mix it with this and tell me how it went. Because these are amazing together. So, um, this is like, this is everything. And I must go get more, like, today. <laughs> um, and that is it for my empties for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.